That's old school, Ray, when you actually leave your house to go to a movie theater. I know a lot of people did it for the first time recently to see Barbie or to see Oppenheimer on that big record-breaking weekend. But for a long time, many of us, myself included, you watch stuff at home, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do they still play the piano at the movie theater? I don't think they do that. Okay. <laughs> and it's, you know, they talk now. They're talking. Uh, oh, very yeah. nice. Very nice. You should, you should go. You'd like, <laughs> air-conditioned. Ooh, you got you got that going. It's going to actually be helpful here. Uh, back in the olden days, if there's any kids up late watching, uh, the movie theater was one of the places you could get some air conditioning. Uh, but uh, we are going to see the heat and humidity going up later this week. That's why Thursday is a first alert weather day. But at the moment, we have pretty much perfection occurring outside. Upper 60s type temperatures, clear skies, low humidity, calm winds. Beautiful tonight. Temperatures are eventually going to fall down into the 50s and 60s. We already have some 50 degree readings out in spots like Washington, uh, Indiana. We're going to lose a few more degrees throughout the course of the night, but some might find tomorrow morning quite chilly. But what we're going to see happen is our temperatures are going to start to go back up. We're looking at the lower 80s in Pittsburgh, Beaver, uh, Waynesburg, down into Morgantown, back into Ohio. But the bigger thing you're going to notice is through the day, those humidity values or humidity levels are going to go up. So it's going to start to get stickier. Then our temperatures take off on Thursday and in between that Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see some rain and some of that rain could be hefty. We have a couple things going on. First and foremost, that big area high pressure we've been talking about mid part of the country. It is just allowing all that sunshine to come in and it's it's cooking things. It's really hot uh, parts of Texas, Oklahoma uh, out in that area. They've been seeing triple digit temperatures. We also have a tropical system that came on shore that's going to sort of follow around the high pressure, so we're going to get some moisture from that. We already see some moisture pushing into the upper Great Lakes. That is eventually going to slide down towards us. So what we're going to see here in the next 24 hours is some rain trying to take over. So by the time we get to 2 a.m. Thursday, we're looking at some hefty rain, potentially some gusty thunderstorms embedded within this, but I think tomorrow night into Thursday morning, we're talking pre dawn Thursday morning is going to be a soaker that moves on Thursday afternoon with the moisture in the air. We can't rule out a little pop up shower thunderstorm trying to get uh, back together, so we could see that. But I think Thursday night into Friday, this is uh, 9 p.m. Thursday. You can see another batch of rain trying to slide down the line into the area. So I think Thursday night into Friday, we're going to get another batch of rain and some of that could be heavy as well tonight. That's not a concern. We're looking mostly clear. It's going to be comfortable upper 50s for lows in town tomorrow. 81. You'll notice that it's uh, going to be a day that starts with sun. We'll mix in more clouds throughout. As those clouds are mixing in, the humidity is going to climb. We could see a stray shower during the afternoon. But I don't think tomorrow is going to be a washout. It's not until late tomorrow where those rain chances ramp up and you'll see those temperatures in the lower 80s. But uh, by the time we get to five o'clock, but just know that 81 degrees is going to feel kind of steamy with that additional humidity that's working in for our first alert weather day on Thursday. So basically Thursday, soon as it clicks over to midnight, we're looking at rain, potentially some thunderstorms with gusty winds. But I think the bigger thing is going to be the heavy rain. Most of that is wrapped up by daybreak during the afternoon. Very, very warm. We're talking upper 80s and muggy. Keep that in mind for practices or whatever you have going on outside with the high humidity. It's going to be harder for your body to cool itself off. So just remember Thursday afternoon, very, very muggy. It gets a lot more refreshing when we get to the weekend and to the start of next week.